Okay, it's been a little while, but I've been busy working on a visual aid for this video. So um, I know it's not not I mean not real impressive looking, but um, considering I carved it from a tree trunk with a pair of toenail clippers, I thought it was I thought it was pretty impressive. So this one too. So here's a recap of what we did um, up to now with three point perspective. We had an object like this where nothing is parallel to the picture plane. And we talked about rotating it on a vertical axis and that will, well, if you rotate it around like this, then it will, these horizontal lines are parallel to the picture plane. If, um, let's go back to this view. And then we talked about rotating it along an axis that goes to the right vanishing point, something like this that is tipping over that way, or something that's rotating along an axis that goes to the left vanishing point, like this, we did that one. And also in this view, well, where the horizontal lines are parallel to the picture plane, we talked about it falling forward, falling backwards, to the left or to the right. Here's some more angles we didn't talk, have, we haven't talked about yet. Say for instance, this takes off and comes straight towards you. So if it's like this, see this, uh, this one is in one point perspective. The vertical and horizontal planes are parallel to the picture plane. This one's in three point perspective. This could be something coming off the ground coming towards you, a missile or something, or it could be something falling from the sky, like that. So it's, um, let's give this a, like a visual representation. So here's ground plane, and here's an object, and the viewer standing here and they're looking at this, they're looking down at this. So this is in three point. The picture plane's like this. It is always going to be 90 degrees to the line of sight. So if we had something here that took off and went like this, it is now in a one point perspective and this one stays in three point perspective. So that's what our next task is. We're gonna draw something in one point perspective inside a three point perspective diagram. I thought we'd maybe make it something really specific on this one. And I've got some other things. We, we're, the three point perspective is um, far from being over. So, um, but I thought for this one, maybe we'll do something really specific as kind of a review of what we did in three-point perspective in the past. So maybe we'll draw, maybe we can draw this, this exact thing to scale. And we'll have the viewer looking at it at a particular angle. So to do that, we are going to need um, to set up a very specific three-point perspective diagram. We'll do this one first, and then we'll draw this one in a one point perspective as if it was coming like right at you, or it was going this way. <laughs> 